All right, what's going on, Set Apart Gardens, Gang Sap Gardens family, man? Today, that rooster that I butchered on the last video with those three roosters, I'm cooking one of them today. So I'm storing them up. Um, so the recipe that I am doing is going to be just a stew, but I'm using curry as a base. But I'm also seasoning it with other seasonings, so I'm not going to necessarily call it a curry because it isn't like a traditional Jamaican curry chicken or nothing like that. It's just a stew that I just freestyled off the dome. So I hope y'all enjoy it. But right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting up the chicken um, whole, just breaking it down, you know, um, you know, just taking the breast off, the thighs, the wings, all of that. I'm chopping all of that up. Like everything is going to be just chopped up. I took the skin off for the most part because I didn't want all that skin in there, um, just the meat. Um, so, but I'm just gonna chop them up into chunks and then eat it like that. And I got my big butcher's knife. Oh man, that butcher's knife is a lifesaver. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, so that's all I'm doing right now. Um, but you know, I always gotta have a story for y'all, man. Now this story is about how I proposed to my wife. Yep, how I proposed to my wife. So basically, right, I was stationed in Hawaii and I decided, you know, after me and my wife had been dating, it was about close to a year, and I decided that uh, I wanted to fly her out to Hawaii, you know what I'm saying, so she can come and experience Hawaii and see everything that it has to offer, because uh, before that, we had a long-distance relationship, and so flew her out to Hawaii, and um, she's out there for probably like a week, a week and a half, something like that, we're just having a good time. So I want to say around the fourth day, um, because this is the thing, before she came out, I already knew I was going to propose. I already had the ring ball, I had everything. So I knew I was going to propose, I just didn't know when. So I'm thinking like, man, how can I do this? How can I maneuver this? You know what I'm saying? But long story short, I ended up finding a little park. Um, it was in Pearl City, Hawaii. And uh, Pearl City, um, it's, it's right next to Pearl Harbor. It's like the middle of the island, pretty much. If you ever been, in, been to Hawaii or lived in Hawaii, you know what Pearl City is, you know what Pearl Harbor is. So it was a little um, a little park by the water and it, it had a little walking trail. And so anyways, I decided to go there, um, you know, just to, just to have a romantic little date. You know, she had no idea what was coming. And so when we got out the car, um, we walked a little bit, you know, towards the park. And I said, hold on, I forgot something in the car. So I went back to the car, grabbed the ring, of course. Then we um, walked a little trail. And as we walked in the trail, I'm like, man, when am I going to do it? When am I going to say it? When am I going to pop the question? I was just nervous the whole time. And so uh, finally, you know, we was holding hands. And, you know, she had walked up a little bit, but I still had her hand. And I just got down on one knee. And I just looked at her, waiting for her to turn around. I didn't even say, will you marry me? That's how nervous I was. I just had, I was just on one knee with the ring. And as soon as she turned around, she was just in shock. And then she was like, yes, you know, and all that stuff. I didn't even ask her to marry me, but you know, I was just that nervous, but she knew, you know, that I, she knew what time it was pretty much. So uh, she was just like, just so flabbergasted and everything like that. And it was just an amazing, amazing day, man. And, um, you know, of course, we had to take pictures and put them on Facebook. She said yes and all that type of stuff, man. But it was just so, it was just so nice. It was so beautiful, so romantic. And um, we ended up carving our names in one of the palm trees um, at that park. I actually still have a picture of it where we carved our name into it and everything like that and, and and the funny thing is man we got engaged one day and then the next day we was like you know what we just we should just go ahead and do it do the go the whole way and get married and that's what we did man we got married two days later so we were only engaged for about two days man and and, and we got married two days later and we kept it a secret from a lot of people, you know, like our parents and stuff like that, grandparents. We didn't end up telling them to later. Um, but then, you know, um, she ended up moving out to Hawaii and everything like that. And that's when we started our journey. That's when we got pregnant with our first son, man. But um, what you see me putting in here, I put uh, uh, about half a cup or a quarter of a cup of hot sauce in there. Put some garlic, minced garlic, some more garlic powder, a uh, little garlic seasoning blend. And I'm gonna put some more salt in there, you know, just to season it up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? To to my liking, you know, this like I said, this was just a freestyle, um, but it was so good. Put those potatoes in there, 
you know and then i um i didn't get it on camera but i actually put a little uh a little flour in there to thicken it up so it can be thick uh but this the end result man this the end result man hit that like button i hope y'all like this recipe try it for yourself and don't forget to like subscribe and comment peace and blessings